I think that all of us have this longing to know and to understand the great mystery. And I think and I feel and I know in my heart that we look around us and sometimes we don't know how to translate that longing. But it's very simple because everything we want to know is right here. This is the key. The heart is the key to that mysterious language. The medicine dance of the Nguyen Mai Kong is a common occurrence. The people begin in an easy mood. More join later as the fervor of the dance increases. On an average, they dance about once a week, usually at night and often all night long. The people take pleasure in the music and the dancing and admire excellent performance. Although they are engaged in a serious ceremony to heal the sick and ward off evil, they are not solemn or in awe. The people act together for their well-being. It is the woman's role to clap and sing, sitting around the dance fire. A woman may dance a turn or two if the mood is upon her, always with dignified bearing. The men, singing also, dance around the women, first in one direction and then the other. Looked at one way, the purpose of the singing and dancing is to make sound. In other words, to produce music, the special medicine music of these ceremonies. The songs have no words, but they have names. Rain, sun, honey, giraffe, eland, all strong things that Kong say. During the night they sing the songs over and over, pausing to rest briefly, starting up again with vigor. The women's clapping hands and the men's stamping feet are the accompanying percussion instruments. Some of the men beat out the basic rhythm, Others put two and three light steps onto the basic beat. The Kung believe that the songs are given by the great god and that they have medicine, mm, a mystical potency capable of curing, dangerous if too strong. Mm exists in the music and the dance fire, but the most important deposit is in the medicine men who are called mm kausi, or owners of medicine. Among the Kung, almost all men become medicine men and practice at some time in their lives. In the atmosphere of the dance, their medicine becomes hot, the Kung say. The medicine men begin to perform their curing ritual. They may already be in light trance by this time. They go to all the people again and again, laying on their fluttering hands to draw out manifest sickness and unknown ills. Their formalized gurgles, grunts, and shrieks show that this is heavy work. The Kung use no drugs to induce trance. Only medicine men go into trance, and they do so only during these curing ceremonies. Although their behavior is formalized and in general the same while they are in trance, the degree of trance varies in depth, and individual differences of emotional responses are apparent. Some men seem never to lose themselves completely. Others are deeply withdrawn. Most of them go into a formalized frenzy, gurgling and shrieking. In this state, they may get up and run about. They fall in the fire, throwing burning coals on their hair. They rush out, hurling sticks into the darkness. Thus they protect the people, for in the darkness the dead may be lurking, seeking to bring sickness or death to someone. In appreciation for this protection, women sometimes make gestures to honor the medicine men. At last, some of the medicine men fall into unconsciousness, which the Kung call half-death. 
believing that their spirits leave their bodies. Medicine men in lighter trance must care assiduously for those in half-death, protecting them with their medicine. The people in the film which follows have danced all night and are continuing into the dawn. The medicine men are still curing. At the end, they fall into deep trance. Hundred, hundred, two 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 hundred, two